On this episode of In My Setup, I'm going to be talking about your setups, you submit for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact, because the show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pit My Setup, episode number 179. We're going to live on January 15th, 2017. My name is Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. And as always, we are joined by producer Tom. What's up, everybody? That's it? That's all you got? I'm trying to think of cool things to say, but I don't want to be too stupid. Wait, go back to your camera real quick. Tom just uploaded his first UFC video. Yes, on my channel. What is your channel? Uh, it's it's If you search Thomas Philly, you'll find it, but it is Mr. Sports Report, but I was trying to get that changed, but never... You know, yeah, if you just... Uh, you could also go to the Swash and Channel, and on the right side in the little bar thing, you'll see Tom's channel. Go over there. If you like UFC, he just broke down the next event, right? Yeah, tonight. Tonight. Ooh, tonight. Anyways, uh, you can find him on Twitter at Thomas Philly. And then also, quick information for you. We are booked probably 100 episodes in advance yeah, now. Yeah, 279. 279. And if you want to submit your setup, hit my setup.com slash is the place to go. You can submit a fast pass if you would like, but you don't have to. You can still go on the show regardless. Uh, and also, if you want to join Setup Addicts on Facebook, setupaddicts.com. If you want to join Setup Addicts, the Discord, where actually I've been talking on there quite a bit recently on voice chat with you guys, uh, you can go find the link in the description. So, cool. And also, I uh, am streaming a lot more on Twitch now. So if you want to see me play some games, twitch.tv slash swashing is the place to go. But anyways, hopping into the first set of the day, submitted by Mitch. He's 17, he does school online, and he loves to game. Now, I don't necessarily hate this setup, but I will say it, it just seems very bare bones, if you will. It, it's a starter kit almost. There's a few things that he can add, a few things he could get rid of. You know, he does have an alarm clock. So I want to know, is because the alarm car, <laughs> the alarm clock is faced towards his bed. So maybe it, it is actually pretty usable for him. You know, and that's what he prefers to wake up to. Yeah, I can see Even that. Even though we have things called phones and stuff that do the same exact thing. If, for some reason, that is what he prefers, then fine. But maybe you have a nightstand or a windowsill or something you could put it to on the other side. Because it looks a little bit odd. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I think the overall setup itself isn't awful. I think that it's a little hard with red walls like that, especially when you have like an American flag and the stripes kind of blending and stuff, but it's just like a burgundy. It's a hard color to work with. It's a little dark, um, but you know, if that's the color he prefers, then go for it. But I think theme needs to be filled out on the walls a little bit more. We have the poster on the top right, but it's a little too high to really even be attributed to the setup's theme. And also, you know, it definitely needs to be framed and, and so, uh, so on. Also, you know, I, I think it's, just the the right side of the desk isn't really being used everything seems a little cramped towards that one corner not really my favorite thing in the world the keyboard is half on the mouse pad that's going to be annoying and uh you know he, he's using things like a dynex little tv which dynex is throwback they don't even do those anymore but there's nothing wrong with that you know i know a lot of people get so angry about oh look how old this been a big damn ass monitor out as hell but like it, it's a pretty it's a good setup it's just it needs to be spaced out it just needs to be like you know a little bit more love a little bit more love and someone well actually multiple people are are dissing the trash can um not necessarily because of what it looks like or anything like that they just think why put it in the corner it makes it a little bit harder to get to empty so on and so forth which is a great point and tom we're gonna go over to tom he's a trash master what are your thoughts on this uh placement the only uh, the only thing i'm saying is you know trash cans are a perfect spot to go there because what else would you put there like honestly if you're trying to put something in that little corner you Dead know how body. the legs are like what else can you put there so having a trash can there is perfectly fine in my opinion okay but now it comes to the point it's overflowing with just feet feces and you need to empty it real quick and then accidentally pulling it out it gets stuck in between the bars you spill it and it's just all over the place what do you do now i'm not saying it's a great spot i'm just saying what else would you put in that spot that's a good that's point all. so that's all 50 50 what do you guys think in the chat let us know uh again not a terrible setup just a few things here and there i'd like to see figured out but um yeah anyways let's go to the next setup submitted by lucas he's 18 he said that his setup is used for school summer work and leisure now he was saying something about like how 
he thinks he's the first person to ever have a marble uh, top for his desk, which I'm, I could tell you firsthand a lot of people have had this. But also, Tom, you remember our old computer office. Yeah. We had the same exact thing, except Basically. we just had metal pipes, flanges as the legs instead of like a full piping system underneath. Um, and that was actually cool because it was really long. And we had double setups, and that was like one of my first. That was setups. back in the heyday, like 2006, 2005. Yeah, old school, and, and it was really cool. Um, but since then, that's turned into Tom's room. But um, yeah, so it's it's cool. I mean, it's a it's a nice idea. I'm a little confused as to why you threw yourself to the left side of the desk. You know, because if you think about it, you're so close to the piping. Whether you say that's not an issue, whatever, your legs are your left leg is right up against it. So that's definitely not ideal. And you have so much room, just not great usability of the desk space. So I don't think the desk is bad. I think even, you know, in the second photo, it looks really cool with the piping and everything like that. But it, use the desk the right way. Now, while we're on this photo, I gave him a terrible score for cable management. Not even because like, you know, he took his science board uh, from when he was in elementary school, the one that he used for his projects, and was like, I'll just cover up my cable management. He didn't even try. Like, at least get it a little bit taller. I mean, we see all those cables coming down. We all can only imagine what it looks like behind those boards. So really just an awful attempt there. And uh, I have to be that guy because if you're going to cheat the system, at least, at least cheat it right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as I stutter and sound stupid. Um, but... Yeah, also, the other thing I was going to say, like, I don't mind the phone being there. I know for some people, they actually use phones like that still, and it's, you know, something they need. But um, one thing I thought was a little bit weird was off to the side, he has his Mac Pro, which is cool. My favorite ever computer. De- no, the left side. Oh. The Mac Pro. Oh. Yeah. Um, my favorite like ever Pro. computer design of all time. It looks absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, but that is the weirdest piece of furniture I've ever seen to add to a setup like this because, one, it doesn't seem like it would fit completely under the desk, which is why it's kind of half out on the left. Uh, it doesn't really match. It just kind of looks out of place. You know, you have a random controller on top. Everything just seems to be in a weird spot. Uh, not really sure what's going on there. I mean, it, it could have just fit on the desk and it would have been a nice way to display it because obviously on the right side, you don't really have anything going on over there except for a lamp. So I just think the placement of everything seems to be very odd, out of place. There's no theme. There's nothing that really, you know, makes me say, wow. You know, it's a very, also the desktop itself is very thin. You know, when I when I think of like high quality marble, again, I'm not a countertop person. I don't know all about that. But for me, I just feel like, wouldn't that be thicker if it was like, it should be. Uh, again, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I would only assume that when you think high quality marble, you think thick. Or just like a, a bigger lip. You know how like there's lips on uh, the our yeah. old ones or whatever. So I thought there'd be a bigger lip on it. It's just interesting. I, I don't know. But I, I like the, the piping. I think the piping looks cool. Uh, I would love to see a full on steampunk setup. That's something that I want to do in my next setup. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the next setup. Now, this one. <laughs> submitted by poppy poppy's 13 obviously a female um does youtube and a bit of gaming huge football fan and by football i mean football which by that i also mean soccer so uh now that we got that out of the way this setup you know you look at the second photo and you can just tell there's a little bit too much cramped into one area but um not the end of the world no mouse pad or anything like that i don't know how that would be really usable but it seems a bit odd um but then third photo shows that we have the cables literally everything shoved right behind the monitor so you know um pretty sure that's one of those hp owen ones right it looks like it yeah like the one we give jake um but yeah not the best solution now granted the angle that you took the photo it does hide it um but i feel as if you were just to like be in the room for real you'd be able to see it pretty easy so you want to do the cable management under the desk in most situations unless you have an outlet that's you know right behind your monitor or something that you need to work with but i think in this situation it definitely needs to be handled Uh, under the desk now in the far back photo it's not really the worst setup in the world she's only 13 um, but I do think a little too much going on it's hard having the printer there and whatnot the theme is a bit off you know the flower cushion for the chair and then the crayon drip on the wall and the canvas that's not really centered with anything it's a bit 
interesting. I, I'm not really sure how to feel about it. I'm not really sure where to start. I would really honestly probably clear everything out and just kind of start from scratch. Do you use this on a daily basis? If so, put it in a spot where it can be used daily. Otherwise, I think it needs to be placed elsewhere. So um, interesting, but I, I don't want to spend too much time on it because I don't have too much to say. So I'll leave it to the chat and the people in the comments. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Um, but yeah, let's go to the next setup submitted by Thomas. That's, this is my setup, guys. <laughs> Except not. Um, this Thomas is 20 years old, just like me. He uses this setup for gaming, programming, video, and photo editing, CAD, and writing essays, as well as doing PowerPoints. He does Twitch. His name is Thomas Tech Gaming. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's an interesting setup. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know where to start because there are things I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not like overwhelmingly bad. Um, first question, I guess, is on the right side, bottom corner. That's just like part of his bed sheets, things like that, right? It's not yeah, like that's part of his bed. It just looks weird. Um, but anyways, now let's zoom in on that monitor, specifically that right monitor. Now, really, zoo scroll in there because I, I want to just, I really want to show that bezels thicker than your mom. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I think it really those like look thick. That's a thick monitor. I mean, that's T-H-I-double-C thick. But yeah. I can't even tell what uh, brand it is. It, it's probably brand thick. It looks like Acer. Yeah, I think it might be. Or AOC. If it's like the... Because the left one's AOC, obviously. So yeah. maybe it's the same thing. Um, but, but anyways, this setup, I think out of sight, out of mind needs to be put into place here just a little bit more. Only because I don't know if you would get the same same thing as me. Tom, but don't you think it's a little crowded with useless things? Yeah, but I feel like he probably just like got so excited and wanted to take the picture, and he didn't realize that he held this shit on his table. But you know, I feel I feel like on a good day where his family's coming over, he probably cleans most of the stuff off. He wouldn't hopefully. even clean it for me, let alone his family. Yeah, but I feel like you know some <laughs> people love to take their picture like right away. They see the show and they're like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna take a picture," and that's what they usually do. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, what do you think of that mic? That that microphone in the dead center there. Oh, that's a mic. Wait, no, the oh down here. Yeah, literally right in front of the keyboard. I can't even see it. Right in front of the keyboard, the big like stem oh, this thing. thing. Oh. Yeah, that's his microphone. See, when that's the thing, a normal person wouldn't really know that. So it's like it's fair to say. Interesting though. It, I mean, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, had some for the headphones would be nice. It's not a bad setup. It's definitely lacking theme. You know, you have the Game of Thrones thing, and uh, having that poster there kind of left me like, oh, I'm going to see more Game of Thrones in this setup. But that was it, and it looks like it's not centered or anything. It's not framed. So, if anything, that poster would look, I think, better on the left side. Uh, a little bit lower on the left side would look good. Would leave room for maybe a shelf above to put some, uh, you know, Game of Thrones related things. That's one thing I'm always upset about with people that say in their emails or just show a poster or something like they love a TV show. They love a movie. They love something, but then they don't go and get some of the memorabilia. They don't get any of the, you know, different things that you can get to represent the movie. Think about all the different possibilities you get. I don't know, a sword or some shit. I don't know. I never watched Game of Thrones, but I feel like there's so many different things you could get that would look sick and take the setup to the next level. Um, but what are your thoughts, Tom? Do you think there's a theme? No, not really, because there's his wallpaper on his, you know, his monitors, and then that little sign above. There's really nothing to it. I mean, but I don't know. I don't know if he's too much in the Game of Thrones, you know, just seeing this. I mean, who yeah. knows? Who knows? Yeah, but he's got isn't the wallpaper Game of Thrones? And yeah, he's got but the but Game that's, of Thrones. That's it. Like so, poster. Like, maybe he should go another direction. Well, then he should take the poster down. And change. Maybe the paint the walls. Yeah, so I, that's another thing. Color because it's white on white. He's got white the desk. black and red headphones, black and red keyboard. Like he's going for that, but then where's black and red throughout the rest? Yeah. So interesting to me. Little confused there, but looking at this photo, just take it like a mental snapshot. There, it's in the corner, very bland. Go to the next setup. It's almost like it's in the same damn room. Yeah, they they moved in together. Yeah, and same. Like, oh, you want to just combine setups or something like that? <laughs> yeah, this next guy, Vinny15, moved in with Thomas. Uh, not for, not really. But he uses his setup for console gaming and editing videos. He's not allowed to have anything on the wall since he's in an apartment, which we'll talk about in a second. His YouTube channel is K-I-K, for kick, back games, but instead games is spelled G-A-M-Z, and as Tom just showed, he's rolling in the dough. <laughs> 
Um, Why a dollar? Just I, yeah, there. I don't know. Maybe it was the first dollar he ever made. I don't know. Um, but yeah, five years younger than uh, Thomas. And I feel like his <clears> setup <throat> has a little bit more life to it, but that's not saying a lot. Um, now, obviously, things like cable management are garbage here we're just seeing this it's like almost like water the ocean just flowing the waves just chilling on the floor we got the printer on the floor which you guys know i'm not a fan of uh but sometimes you do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying uh and, and even in the second photo you can see in the bottom right corner more cables so it's just it's a cable mess uh obviously that's not something he's worried about so i guess power to him to not really giving a shit just kind of like here's my setup get over it um but let's be real here talking about the setup having the pc where it's at the pc placement is awful that's exactly where your feet are going to be uh you're smudging up the window with your nasty ass grimy feet no bueno senor por favor mis amigo da ah, i wish i knew more spanish but um definitely you have room for the pc to go to the right side of the desk why isn't it there if anything it could even go where the printer is on an angle yes you have the leg there but at least it would be in a different spot um, now, the other thing that I thought was a little bit odd was just kind of like how everything in the, the left side of the desk was just kind of like thrown there. So I don't know if, you know, he uses that 360 on a daily basis. If so, from what he said, it, uh, it seems like he probably would. I, then again, I'm not sure why he would use the PS3 if he has all PS4. Uh, I mean, the Xbox 360 if he has all PS4 stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, the PS4 is right there, but I feel like the Xbox 360 is being like suffocated to death, and why not show that off more than the games? You need something for the games anyway. Maybe something to go to the left side where the chair is, one of those freestanding spinning uh, carousels for the games. That would look nice. Show off the Halo thing a little bit more. You know, get rid of the stupid stuff on the, the laptop, like, you know, the dollar and whatever. That should all be in a drawer. You know, the, the controller thing is cool. I always recommend stuff like that to people. I just feel like that left side needs to be figured out just a little bit more. Uh, and then, as far as not being able to put stuff up on the wall, I think the easy solution to this is something I always talk about, is uh, getting yourself blue tack. I don't know if that's the scientific name, but it's like Play-Doh almost, and they always use it in school when I was a kid to hang up posters without actually you know, doing anything permanent. And it doesn't leave any residue. It doesn't do. I feel like I'm doing a pitch for it. Like, mm -hmm. damn, wow! But really, you get Guys, this. Uh, let's put this in action, okay? Yeah. It's like I just so happen to have a whole bunch here. I pull out like a whole tub. <laughs> um, really, you just break up a little piece. It's it, really you just put it on the back of the poster, pop it on, bada bing, bada boom. Someone said, "Why not do shelves?" Well, obviously, if you can't put posters, he's not going to put shelves. He's allowed on. to be drilling stuff yeah. to the wall. He's but allowed he, to do that. But he can't just hang up like a simple poster. <laughs> uh, so, really, it's it's a simple solution. And although it may not look the best, trust me, it will add a little bit of life, which is definitely needed here. Uh, like I said, better than the last setup in terms of theme, but that's not saying much because the only thing that really makes it look cool is he's got like the Halo thing and whatever. Um, nice setup. Just poor execution of the left side, terrible cable management, and no theme. So, any thoughts for him? No, you basically hit everything. I Perfect. always do. It's my damn show, Tom. It's my job. That's why I'm not going to regurgitate anything. Really? Imagine you just like, <laughs> and then regurgitate. Get it? No. Okay, cool. Next set of the day, submitted by Chris. Chris is 15, mainly uses a setup for gaming, and soon, live streaming. So, yeah, you know, I thought this setup was interesting i'm not usually a fan of these kind of desks and i think this photo alone kind of shows why they're kind of just nasty and they kind of look like like uh, i don't know about that um but you look at the further back shot it's not awful you know he did have to make a little bit of a mod modification to get his monitors at the right height and that piece of board actually extends past the desk so a little bit of zzz, a little bit of trim would have looked nice there uh but nonetheless i just want to know does he have a kickstand sort of thing on the back of those two displays or is he just like hoping for the best and letting them just kind of like lay there on the God, I honestly <laughs> you know what know. i mean it just seems like that could be possible but i'm also going to assume that hopefully he came up with some sort of you know kickstand piece that holds it but uh, it, might, it might look like the right monitor is against the wall so the the middle monitor is like leaning on that monitor it kind of looks like that. Maybe scotch tape was, you know, used. Look, it's like overlapping in a way. So I'm pretty sure this, the right one should be on the wall. And then this one's overlapping. So it's leaning on it. So it's holding it up. Yeah, but I don't think that makes sense. It would have to be in front of the main monitor that has the stand to be held up. 
I don't know. Because I don't think it's close enough to the wall. Maybe it is. Regardless, that's a little too... We shouldn't have to even have that discussion of, is it okay? You no, know, it's not okay. Yeah. Um, also, it seems like the monitors would be pretty low down, but whatever. Um, the speakers, you know, I think this is where having triple monitors hurt because, you know, they're very close together. You're not really getting the right sound. You know, it should be spread out so that your ears kind of get in an even way. But I'm not like, you know, an audiophile. I'm just an audio Philly. <laughs> really? I don't know. Um, you know, uh, it's. Mm. Uh, uh. And people are making fun of his LED placement. Yes, I agree. It's not really the best spot ever, but just let the kid live. I mean, if that's what he thinks is cool, go for it. Uh, but honestly, it would look a lot nicer if you just took those LEDs and wrapped it around the back of the three displays. Because then it would at least, hopefully, uh, diffuse evenly and actually add a bit of uh to it. You know what I'm saying? But um, what are your thoughts on theme, Tom? What are, you, what are you feeling? I think I like the theme. I mean, he wanted to show it off in this picture, so he moved the posters down so they could actually see it. I don't think it's the right spot to put your posters, but just having a picture taken of it, it looks like you have a great theme, but I don't think the placement is perfect for the posters. Mm. But, you know, the stuff on the shelf and all that, the windowsill, cool. I mean, he seemed like a did a good job on theme. Best theme I've seen so far today. <laughs> yeah, which is true, but also not saying much. Um, really upsetting when people don't put into theme because theme is what will take your setup to the next level. But, you know... Um, it's it's good. It's fine. I don't think it's terrible. I do think it's one of the better setups of today based on just all the categories combined, but it's not saying much. Um, plus, I just feel for his computer. It's just, if you go on the next photo, it's just there in the corner. Like, it's just like being killed. Slow death. So, not sure what's going on there. But next setup of the day is submitted by Joshua. He's 12, he does YouTube, couldn't find his channel, but apparently he builds PCs for other people. Don't know how that works. Uh, if he actually, if he does, that's cool. He says that's how he makes all his money. Um, looking at that, if he built that PC at 12, then that's pretty badass. That's pretty good to do by yourself. Um, but yeah, not a lot to say here. Cable is not great. Yeah, sure, the usability isn't awful, but let's just like, you know, the the left side looks crazy. There's no theme. You look at just the second photo kind of kills everything going on with the cleanliness and just it's just not ideal. I'm I'm just not a fan. Um I don't really I don't really have much to say about this one. And I think this one's pretty self explanatory what needs to be fixed with it, right? I could see that, yeah. I mean He's working with what furniture he has and all that. I feel like having a new desk to be able to put your Xbox One on and, you know, have storage and all that. So you'd be able to just have one piece of furniture to house all the stuff that you need. And then having that, you know, clean up the wires with the TV, the, just the random wire coming down, you know, just yeah. simple stuff. Yeah. You know, add theme, clean up the room. Boom. This next setup is the best setup of the day by far. Submitted by little, submitted by Duncan. He's 20. He mostly uses this for gaming and screwing around on the internet. He's passionate about firearms and plans to work in the defense industry after school. And by defense, I mean defense. <laughs> no, I mean like guns. Okay. Anyways, so, uh, <clears throat> anyways, take a look at this setup. I mean, it just screams sexy. It kind of gives off a theme. It looks good. It's just, it's a nice setup and it's such... A different setup from the rest of them today. Breaking it down category by category. Usability has got to be super easy sitting there. You got the speakers in a great spot. His computer is reachable, easy to use. Headphone stand off to the left. You know, uh, keyboard, mouse, enough space, breathing room. It's just great. Uh, looking at the next photo, wire management. A little bit odd how it goes in and like it's all twisted and stuff. But uh, it is in the specific slot made for cable management on this desk. So... Out of sight, out of mind, it works, it's good, nice. If you really wanted to take it to the next level, a wire, a uh, little bit of wire tubing or something for that one cable going to the outlet would be nice. Uh, wire mold, whatever. But um, I don't think it's really needed. That's just if you wanted to be crazy. Uh, but taking a look at the first photo again, accessories. He has everything you could possibly need for a setup like this. He uh, doesn't say that he does anything crazy. You know, he games here and there and he screws around on the internet what else would he need you know um theme i mean right up there look at that 
He's got a little bit of pop vinyls, a little bit of books. He even has the decal, which at first glance looks like a real gun until you realize it's not a real gun. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and even on the right side under the lamp, he has those little s tiny soldiers fig things. And yeah, whatever. Uh, but I mean, literally every part of this setup is thought out. It's nice. It's it's just it's usable. It works. Um, so I'm a fan of it. I think he did a wonderful job and uh not bad at all. And, and someone said, what is the red thing in front of his case? If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Usually that's like what the people keep earbuds in. Um, but it could also be some other kind of cushion pad, something to that extent. Not sure. Um, but I just, I love the simplicity behind it. I think he did a great job and, uh, it's an interesting, unique setup, which definitely needed to be shown at a time like this. Um, Good job, good, good job, Duncan. Good job. I tried to say Duncan and job yeah. at the same time. Good job, Duncan. Let's go to the next and final set of the day submitted by Dennis. Now, let's just pause. All right. You remember Dennis. He's 19. He was on episode 169, which is only 10 episodes ago. Uh, I can do math. Um, and he was actually featured as one of the worst setups for 2016 for obvious reasons. Now, after watching episode 169, and I'm sure seeing the worst setups of 2016, he decided that it was time for some change. And before you expect to see like night and day change, where it's like, it's not, it's, it's a big deal, a big enough deal for me to actually be excited to show it, but it's not like, oh my God, new desk, new house, new everything. I mean, cause really I, I said it all along. His accessories was cool. It was just too much going on. His cable management was awful. Uh, I don't know if you could go full screen on the photo just to kind of get like the best uh, transition here. But is the cables even like, can you see them if you zoom in? Uh, not um, really. Okay. Well, the cables are really bad. Take my word for it. Anyways, moving on to the next photo. Now the cable management under the desk and really all over the setup is better. You know, still behind the monitor section. I, I could see a few that need to be kind of just brought together and, and fixed a little bit. But if you go to the next photo as well, there you'll is no other photo. There is none. No, it goes to two. You know, I don't think I ever sent you the updated. I had, I didn't do it for myself either, but I had another photo included. Yeah. Regardless, the other photo, um, kind of finished the, the whole idea because his side panel is missing in this photo, but it's fixed. Now he had to get, he got a new cooler so now his computer works and everything, but it's fine. With this photo, we can at least tell a story here. So going back to the first photo, you can kind of just see the amount of things crowded together. And I feel like when you go to the next photo, it does feel a little bit more empty, a little bit more breathable. But I think it's fair to say there's still a lot to be done here. And my main concern all along, besides the cables... And, you know, I give him props for finally cleaning up the cables because most people will never care to clean the cables. But um, it's just the amount of boxes. It's the, the amount of things. Having the rear speakers where they're at, I don't really think it, it's like having the whole 5.1. I don't think it's life changing. Um, would have liked to seen that. Well, I, I yeah, I don't know. I would like to see that changed. Um, but I think it's just the overall breathability, the usability, having the monitor split because you have the microphone coming through. Does it look great does it work i mean it's not awful but i just think it could look better uh you know and he has a lot of cool things attributing to theme but it's still at that time it's just there's too much to be fixed here so dennis you're obviously willing to get things fixed i think what you need to do is quite literally take everything out and move the desk away completely vacuum Put it back. Maybe even paint the walls while you're at it. It looks like that's wallpaper, though. Do you see the texture to it? Yeah, I can see how that's wallpaper. Yeah, because it, it's peeling off at the bottom. And it looks gross. Like, by the outlet, which is another big problem, having an outlet over there. You don't have another outlet option. Um, but if you were able to do that, first off, new color wall would be insane. Then a complete throw out of empty boxes, things you don't need, and really priorator, priorator, prioritizing what needs to be on the desk out of sight, out of mind is not about having nothing on the desk and it's not about having a lot on the desk. It's about only having on the desk things that you use on a daily basis. So think about that. Think about how you can really incorporate a theme, maybe a shelf above, um, maybe more 
you know, art, whatever. Um, but I think that would be important, you know, a complete refresh, start over phase one. Do you agree that would be a good idea? Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty simple, but you know, he probably has a lot of stuff that he's like, a lot. Oh, I don't want to like get rid of this because I might need it for something and all that kind of stuff. It's tough to like, you know, start fresh, but I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah, it, it definitely is. It, it's a complete do over, you know, most boxes you're not going to need, man. You just got to get rid of them. Uh, you know, you definitely need to get some sort of storage, maybe put stuff in the closet, but like, I see you have the empty box for your car. Yeah. You know, you have PS4 deluxe edition thing, you know, Logitech looks like, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but you have PC games. You just got to condense, really got to clean it up. Maybe even like a new desk would help here. Um, but yeah, someone said the monitors look tall. They do look tall. Maybe it's specifically so the uh, speakers fit. But yeah, I don't know. It's just good job on cleaning the cables. I will give you props there. It is an important thing to do, but there's still a lot of work to be done here. So um, good there. And someone said actually, um, actually no, never mind. I'm not even gonna say because it, it was the same. So yeah, cool. Uh, let's go to the scores. Mitch scored a 66. Lucas, 60, Poppy, 62, Thomas, 64, uh, Vinny, 60, Chris, 74, Joshua, 62, Duncan, 94, and Dennis with a 68, which is like double his original score. <laughs> um, you know, a little bit weird on the scores. I do think Vinny's setup was better than Thomas's, so on and so forth, but I don't know. Breaking it down category by category, that's what happens. Um and uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say though. The guy blah, 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 blah. can't speak today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pay My Setup Episode Number One Seven and I. We're live on January 15, twenty seventeen. My name is Matt Philly. Follow me on Twitter at Philly. Don't forget, producer Tom at Thomas Philly. Go check out his new video. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.